So you have to test online and you don't have a digital version of your testing tool. Here's how we can do it. We use a test easel, old school test easel. Get that, you're gonna set it on your desk in front of you, just as you would if your student were on the other side. And then we're gonna set up a document camera. Now, you don't need to run out and buy a special document camera. You can use your cell phone, you can use an iPad, you can use an old cell phone that has Wi-Fi. It doesn't even need to have cell service. So, you'll put this across the table from you. Think of it as your student, and it will be facing the student side of the test easel. You will be facing the examiner side of the test easel, and you'll start the administration. Now, in setting up this document camera. You can use either a tabletop and just set it on the table where your student would be, or you can use a tripod that sits on the ground on the other side of the table. Either one works. I've actually even used a Kleenex box sitting across the table and put my phone in there and that worked out just fine too. So lots of options for ways that we can do this. Now, once you do this, you're going to log your device in. Whatever device you're using for your document camera, you're going to log it in to your video conferencing system, whether that's Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever it is that you're using. Log that device in, and then you, as the host, are going to promote that device and so that that device's image will be the predominant image that your student can see. Now, uh, this works great, great, great for expressive language items where you're showing a picture and then you're listening to your student. For your receptive language items, if you have one like this that gives four options and has a one, two, three, and four, you can ask your student to use the number to indicate. Or um, if they need to point at it, this is when it gets a little challenging, if they need to point at the picture, you can't see what they're pointing at unless you have a parent there to tell you what they have pointed to or you can have the family use a camera and log that device into your video conferencing system also so that you can see the child interacting with the screen. So once you get rolling with this, you're on your side seeing your prompt. Your student is on the other side seeing their prompt and it really goes very smoothly. So don't feel like you need to run out and purchase digital versions of your tests. If your district does that for you, that's fantastic. Use them, but if not, this is a perfectly fine way to administer a test remotely.